is happening guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet again a, another video it has been a little bit hope you guys are all doing well I took the week off from any videos which uh, has me feeling good nice and reset fresh ready to make some content so today's video you guys we were talking about coding in sport plus into our Supras so if you guys have had a BMW before you know that you are able to change the driving dynamics um, and certain things like the transmission, the engine steering and damping from, you know, eco to comfort to sport. And then also there's generally a sport plus option, which would be the most aggressive option. Well, in this car, we haven't had that option. We've only had basically normal and sport. So it seems like they found a way to code in the sport plus functionality of this car. So you can change up um, everything into sport plus, which should be the most aggressive setup. Now. I'm a little bit skeptical as to whether this is going to work or not, to be honest with you. The videos that I have seen on this and everything that I've read about it doesn't really seem like it makes that big of a difference, but it should be interesting. I think specifically for me, what all I really care about is changing the transmission to Sport Plus to see if that makes a difference, because obviously with the ZFs, we we're kind of hoping to get a little more clamping power out of it, a little more aggression out of that, out of those shifts. So theoretically, if we code in the Sport Plus, option we should be able to get um, some some hectic shifting <laughs> the ZF is a great transmission because it really surfs that line of comfortable and like traffic to fast when you're in watt so being able to have the best of both worlds is really why the transmission in this car just works so well and I think that's why BMW is continuing to use it in all of the future M models and whatnot and let's be honest uh, the stock ZF transmission can hold a lot of power and a lot of torque really don't have to start rebuilding these trans or building up these transmissions until you get to about the 700s so that's that's a lot of power and that's a lot of torque so we have nothing coded in right now um, i am going to show you guys where you can go into your settings and change these these um these settings to whatever you want right now i only have the option of normal and sport i always keep this car in sport individual where everything is in sport i made a video on how to code that in using beaver code i'll link that right here and i'm going to show you guys how to code all this stuff in and how that works but first we're going to go for a little drive and see what the shifting looks like uh as of right now just in sport so right now we're just cruising and you can see it's you know it's pretty quick like it's the shifts are pretty quick I do believe that when you are under load with the car and you are fully accelerating, I think the shifting gets faster. Maybe that's just like a placebo effect, but but I feel like when you are driving and you're really, really hitting it, the shifting is, is very quick. So if companies in the future, when they do come out with transmission flashes, I think that this car is going to be crazy how fast it's gonna shift. It already feels like it shifts very, very quick. I'm excited about it. pretty quick just for like cruising simple shifting basic city driving so here we go for a little rip here I mean shifts pretty quick <laughs> With the DCT transmissions that you have in the F80 and like the E series generation, the clamping is very, very hard. Like it's jolting, it'll throw you back. The ZF is much more calm. The way that that torque converter works, it's much more subdued. So you don't really get that like hard clamp. I kind of like the hard clamp. Like I miss that part about my E90 M3. The clamping was so aggressive when it caught it was just like jarring it threw you back this one is much more it's almost like wavy a little bit if i'm being entirely honest i don't love that as much but we'll see with transmission flashes maybe they're able to tighten that up a little bit make it feel a little bit better i feel like for 80 percent of people this transmission's fine like it's good and they're gonna love it it's just if you come from like old school bmw you've kind of grown to love that like harsh hectic clamping spool on this, <laughs> this turbo oh my god this car this car sounds so good you guys like minus the burbles i don't like the burbles i'm trying to tune those out but everything else this car sounds so good it's hectic for sure it's 
Still waiting for my turbo to get in. Ah, everything's on back order, man. It's so hard to get anything right now, you guys. It's really difficult. <laughs> so the shifting is fast, right? It's pretty quick. And that's why I'm kind of skeptical to actually see if we're gonna feel a difference. The engine, so right now we're in sport. I only drive it in sport. Curious to see what it feels like in sport plus. Basically what that changes is the throttle response, really, is what I, from what I understand. But I mostly that is all configured in my tune. Like, so it, I don't really know if it's gonna make a difference at all. Um, and then obviously the transmission, which is the big one for us. We really wanna feel that. All right, so we're pulling up the house now. Uh, let's hop out and get into some coding. We're gonna be using Beamer code for this. I think it's uh, pretty straightforward. Bam, just like that, we are home. All right, so we are gonna be using the OBD link adapter, you guys. There is a link down in the description that is gonna get you a little bit of a discount off of this adapter. This is the adapter that I like to use on the Supra. You can also use this on like F-Series BMWs, G-Series BMWs. This adapter will work with new BMWs and older BMWs, all the way back to E-Series for coding. So this is why I like to use this one. If you guys are not familiar with the app Beamer Code or how to code, I'm gonna leave a link to a video right here. Make sure you check out that video. It's gonna kind of bring you up to speed on what this is and what it means. If you have a tune on your car, this coating will not affect your tune. It will not remove your tune or change your tune by any means. And also vice versa, if you put a tune on your car, it will not delete your coating or remove your codes. Let's hop in the car and get this coded. I think for the most part, it's pretty simple. I do believe we have to go into some expert mode stuff, but let's check it out. All right, so we are in the car. I just wanna show you guys a couple of things. We got the OBD link adapter plugged in down there. You can see it's blinking. That's in our OBD2 port. So basically you want Want to put the car into diagnostic mode the way to do that is foot off the brake tap start button three times quick and you're gonna see the car turns on there you go in order to change the car i think you guys already know all this stuff but in order to change the car from sport into different modes you're gonna obviously use the sport button now like i said i have this car coded currently to start in sport mode that's why you already see sport there i haven't touched anything i just hop the car and it starts in sport every time i start the car that's the way i like the car to drive um, it's actually sport individual so the way that i have it set up in your menu if you go to my vehicle and then you go to vehicle settings and then we go into configure sport individual you're gonna see you have all of the options here damping steering engine and transmission i think you guys can already tell what they are they even got pictures for you if you can't <laughs> so damping you're going to see sport normal steering sport normal you're going to see engine sport normal and of course transmission sport normal so obviously what we're hoping to see out of this is to get an extra option that says sport plus and that should theoretically make things a little bit more aggressive why would we want more aggressive because aggressive is just better. I like my cars a little bit on the hectic side. This is obviously my my second car. This isn't my daily driver anymore. I bought a second car and I've honestly been, I've saved so many miles on the Super, you guys. Like having the daily is just, oh, it's been amazing. It's a blessing. So now that this is more of like uh, my fun toy car, I like it to be a little bit crazy, a little bit on the hectic side. It looks like we have two things to code specifically uh, in order to accomplish this and let's hop into Beamer Code. All right, so obvious first step here, gonna open up Beamer Code, gonna hit connect make sure that you have your uh, proper adapter selected in the settings you're going to see BMW Z4 that's what we're going to select here um, and I like to every now and then just kind of like check in with the, the Z4 control units and the Supra control units and see if they've added anything because periodically Beamer Code will update stuff and actually add in options that we can code so it's it's always interesting to just kind of like hop in these different control units and see what's been added. All right so Beamer Code is going to load up the control units for us and kind of show us what we have the availability to code. Um, which modules we can jump into. First one we're going to hop into is body domain controller can take a little bit to load all the settings, so just let it do its thing. Tacopa, back in business. 
Naughty bitch, let me. Aggie. All right, so here we are, finally. So if you guys are wondering about how to start the car into sport individual mode, well, you see right here, driving mode. There you go. You can change that to sport individual, sport, eco, all that good stuff. Obviously, sport individual is the one that I wanted, so that's what I did. All right, you guys, so we are into the body domain controller. Um, and what we are going to do now is we're going to go into expert mode. And then... We are looking for three, two, two, one, three, two, two, one, P, F, F, E, S, master. Now we are looking for F, E, S, sport, world mode one, right here. So you're gonna see not sport expert, and then sport expert, and then extra boost. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it kinda sounds like my vibe, like super hectic. Right? <laughs> From what I understand, we want to hit sport experts, so that's what we're going to do. But maybe someday I'll have to dive into extra boost and see if this thing just goes absolutely bad shit crazy. Sport expert has been selected. Now we'll head back and we're going to hit code in the top right. We are on our way to paradise, gentlemen. We'll let this code, it's probably going to take a minute. Um, also, you guys, I updated the website completely. Like this whole week that I wasn't filming videos, I was working on my website, adding different products for different generations of BMWs. So now I have a bunch of different products for like F80s, um, M3s, M4s, M2s, um, like what I did on my M2, what I did on my F30, what I did on my E90 M3, all the products we've done so far on the Supra and even future products that I'm doing on the Supra are now up there. I also have products up there for the G series BMWs, G80, G20. So I'm slowly but surely adding support for different cars onto my website. In addition to products, there are also um, blogs, reviews, install articles, things of that nature, tutorials, Beamer code tutorials, all that stuff is up there. Any kind of discounts that I have for parts are also up there and listed on the website. Make sure you guys check it out. Put a lot of work into it. So if you guys wanna show any support, go on the website. Um, there's also like merchandise, like t-shirts and stuff. Feel free to cop. Um, and thank you, as always. Also make sure you guys check out my Instagram. I put a lot of things that are happening, a lot of like updates and things that are happening in my life on Instagram if you're interested in that. And I put a lot of like content up there, a lot of different car photos from like the old cars and the new builds and all that stuff. All right, so here we are, coding successful. Um, we're good for that part. This is a two part coding series, by the way. So we're gonna head back. Now we're gonna head into head unit. This is the second half of coding this part in. All right, once head unit is up, we're gonna hit expert mode, bottom left, continue. And we are looking for 3008 FES and then FES Sport Expert. We're gonna change that from not active to active. Head back, head back one more time. Hit code in the top right, let it do its thing. And then this will officially mean that we now should have the um, Sport Plus options on the car. So just started the car up, obviously went into sport mode immediately, just like usual. Hop over to my vehicle. Let's go into vehicle settings. Go down to configure. So there's nothing in damping for us to change. There's nothing in steering. Ah, so it only affects engine and transmission interesting so now we effectively should have i guess it would be increased throttle response would be really what we're going to feel out of the engine part and then the obvious um transmission will be faster shifting hopefully so let's go for a little cruise and see uh see if we feel a difference Shifting does sound quick, like it sounds fast. Yeah, the downshifts feel faster, for sure. I don't know if I really feel like the throttle response, like the engine side of things changing, but this car's, it's got a tune on it, like a pretty aggressive tune. Making about 507 wheel, I think we're at. I mean, it feels good either way. Like the car feels really good either way. Uh, and the shifts, they do feel more aggressive. They're quick, they're quick. 
some old school DCT characteristics in those shifts. I'm gonna A and B some shifting for you guys right here. I'm gonna throw in the old setup and the new setup. Yes? Tell me what you think. Do you hear a difference, see a difference? When we're wide open throttle, I can feel a difference in the shifting for sure. When it's just city driving, I don't know that I can feel like that big of a difference, um, which I guess is probably good. Like you don't really want it to be like insane when you're just scooting around town. That's the beautiful thing about the ZF, right? I mean, it's shifting quick. difference in the shifting for sure now, when you're on it dude, it, it clamps a little bit harder you can feel it so if you guys pay attention to the the new g80s they actually have an adjustment on the shifter to change the clamping power kind of like you did in like the, the older bmws like the f series and the e series you could change how hard that dct was going to clamp i wonder if that setting that we just set up in here is actually allowing us to go into that setting. Maybe that's the part of the G series that you were able to access that they just didn't have in this Supra. But since it's there and this is all electronic, like the ZF and everything is electronic, maybe now you can just access it because of that. But it it's clamping a lot harder. It's not as like wavy. But again, city driving, like when I'm just putzing around, I don't really feel that big of a difference. I don't know if it changed anything with that. I'll be honest, I was skeptical. Like when we, when I saw the other gentleman's video and when I saw some of the people talking about it online, I was like, mm, does it really change anything? I don't know. So I would 100% suggest coding this in. Yeah, that, it's definitely mo more aggressive with the shifting. Final thoughts? This is a, uh, this is one I think you should do. The engine, I don't know that I feel any of that, but I think that this car, the way that, with the tune and everything, I don't really think I was going to feel any of that. A lot of the throttle response and obviously like horsepower and torque and everything is gonna be controlled in my tune. I don't know that the actual settings on here are gonna change anything for me in my situation. But if your car's stock, you might feel a difference. Um, the transmission, I will say yes. When you are on it, when you are wide open throttle, you can feel the difference. Yeah, so that's pretty dope. Glad we decided to do that. Sheesh. Looking healthy, sounding healthy, as always. Bad girl. I got some fun changes coming for you guys. It's gonna get even more snack alicious. Was it even possible? Yes, yes sir. So there you guys go. That's my <laughs> honest review on this. This when I was like reading everything online and like how people were doing this, it just seemed kind of like suspect a little bit. Like, I was like, it doesn't really change anything, but actually the transmission one, like wide open throttle, 100%. So just, just code it in. If you have Beamer code, it's really easy to do. It takes a couple of seconds. But even if this like specific thing that you want to code in isn't for you, there are so many cool things that you can code with Beamer code. I've made quite a few videos on Beamer code already. Make sure you check those out because honestly, Beamer code is the shit. You can really personalize your car to make it function just like an everyday driving the way that you want it to. So yeah, there you guys go. Easy DIY today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the website, merch, all that good stuff. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.